some of the great scientists who were working at the time who actually who came out of the Manhattan Project. And Sagan obviously was very, think, you know, he'd grown up with the Cuban Missile Crisis and so on. So there was a great concern at that point that we would destroy ourselves. And many of those scientists felt that they were very fortunate to be alive in the 50s. And Richard Feynman is another one, one of my great heroes, who wrote widely in the 50s about the fact that he felt that the power that science had delivered to our civilization was greater than the wisdom of our civilization. Go back to Oppenheimer, Feynman, they were all thinking, is there something in the way that nature forces us to think and in the things that we've discovered about our place in the universe and how we came to be where we are? Is there something in there that can be transferred to wider society? Not just the facts, but the, the way of thinking. And Sagan was beautifully eloquent on that.